What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome to, I wouldn't say this is an update video as such, just more of a little congratulations to myself, to you guys as well for um, helping me achieve what I've been trying to achieve for the past year. So just before Christmas, I hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, which is yay, great. I was going to do a video around New Year's Eve, about around the New Year's time. However, when it came to light that um, shit could have gone wrong, like, I, w I don't always do it straight away. I always wait a week until like, it goes down again. And we shot up to 100, bang on the dot. My god, that music's loud, but I can L to that later. But from then, it kind of shot down to 90 again. I was stuck there for like a few more weeks. And then recently, not not like past week or so, like about two weeks ago. Well, I guess it happened way before, didn't it? Like, I think the week before Christmas, I was going to do a video. And then for like up until after Christmas, it stayed at 98. And all of a sudden recently, since I changed my uploading times, it shot past 100. I was going to do this sooner, but I didn't want it to like drop down to whatever it was going to drop down to, like back down below 90 and stuff. So I've been putting it off up until now. The reason why I'm doing it now, well, to be honest, this is supposed to be a Digimon video, but um, I don't have time to record Digimon and get it uploaded in time. So instead, I've decided to do this. However, this was going to be made after I finished up with Soul Calibur 2 which is doing really well at the moment. Well, for my standards, it's doing amazing. Amazingly well. For everyone else, like, you know, for the bigger YouTubers, like, it's doing poor. But to me, it's doing fantastic. Like, yes, I know there's some titles that's very controversial with Bayonetta and stuff, but that's not the point. Like, I made a joke in the title, which is related to a joke that she makes. But that's not the point. I just wanted to stay here, stay down, and say thank you for helping me get to 100 subscribers. I know it's not much... I know I've been doing this for like going on five years now, like my own channel. I've been doing YouTube since 2012, like everyone else has. It's just hard to get publicity. I know, like they say, I didn't do anything to do this, but when you talk to them and say what they've done, like um, Jack doesn't talk about what he did. Um, Jack, I think, I don't want to say this is like correct or anything, but I think Jack paid for advertisements on social media to get into where he wants to be today. But other than that, I don't want to say anything else bad about the guy. But I think, uh, we know what Mark did. Mark said he did a compilation video of his Amnesia series, what boosted up over Reddit. Again, helped him boost his views. I've not done anything like that. All I've done is post make videos, terrible quality videos, I must admit. And just got away with everything. To be honest, I, like, I've not done anything special. I've not done anything to help me boost my numbers at all. Not like a lot of people do, like PewDiePie is, a, is um, speculated to have bots instead, which again, I don't think he does. At the same time, I do think he does. But if he's complaining about T-Series having it, then I guess he's not there for it, unless someone's done it for him and he doesn't know. I don't know if that's even possible, but again. So soon, I'm going to just do what Markiplier did, or do what I expect Jack to do and go for paid advertisements in places where I pay to get some more publicity over on Twitter and stuff. I'm not going to do it right away. I'm going to wait until like I've got to at least 150, which is, let's face it, 104 at the moment as I'm speaking, which could drop down <clears throat> dramatically. It could drop down hella quick. But again, I'm happy where we are now. And I'm glad that you've stayed by, or not stayed by, but helped me go through, or helped me boost to the people who have actually been watching along, if you have. If you haven't, and you're watching this way in the future, like, I know a lot of people out there go through all the old content to see, well, let's see what his old stuff like, or I want to see how he grew as a person and stuff, which is great, but yes. Now that the subscriber thank you is out of the way, I want to talk about one other thing as well. <clears throat> not a lot of YouTubers do this, but I do want to bring back some old series to the channel. That I've not 
not dead and buried. There is some that are going to stay dead and buried, like Elder Scrolls Morrowind. I can't hack the random generator, the random bullshit in the game, so I'm just going to keep that under wraps for now. But what I want to say is that Hoonie Pop is currently finished, but the audio quality of my old videos and the screen thing was terrible back in the day. So I'm going to redo Hoonie Pop in celebration of Hoonie Pop 2 coming out very soon. I don't know how soon, even the maker himself doesn't know yet, but it is getting finalized at the moment so probably going to be like another few more months ready for summer i think so i don't know when that's going to come out but i do want to redo it again just for the shits and giggles you know make it more tamer this time um i also want to redo subnautica now we did subnautica before on the xbox one where the game was bugged as whole hell and just came out as an early access which is now a full, full, fully released game, which from that point I'm not going to do any more early access games until they're fully released, which is how things should go. But then I'm just going to like literally with Subnautica, I'm just going to play the PC version from start to finish, go out from there and continue. Same with um, Slime Rancher. I want to do that again, but I want to do it like I've been keeping up with the Xbox version of the game when a new update comes out. I know there's been an update recently which gives you another ranch to, ex to explore, which I need to go do that at some point. So that's in the future with the Xbox version. But then I want to redo it all over again from the very beginning on the PC, considering it's one of the things that I wanted to like do both series of. This is just something that's come to light. It's like, oh, this is the Xbox version. I want to do the PC version now. I want to play some more PC games because it's easy to record, easy to edit and stuff like that. Because I've, I've got a pause button to help me cut some things out, which is also good. Um, other things that I want to revisit, uh, I don't think Morrowind is going to come back. Uh, the current moment is I'm going to keep that out of the way. Um, we've got Sue DLC and Oblivion to come back, so that's going to come soon, which is, that's what's going to happen on Mondays from now on. Um, not, not all the time, but it's like, obviously we've got like loads of games. I've got, that's got DLC I need to catch up on. Like we've got Resident Evil 5, Watch Dogs 1, um, Oblivion, for example. So every time we finish a series and it's got DLC for the game, it's going to be moved over to Mondays. Like when we finish up Watch Dogs 2, it's got DLC and it's going to be added to the back of the list when it comes out. At the moment, we're going through Alan Wake, which is going to probably be finished up in two weeks' time, not Monday, but Monday after. But yeah, we're going to break some things out. Some old things that are going to be, be brought back again. Or to like revamp. Like this, obviously, we're going to do Dragon Ball series like Xenoverse 1. I've got to continue with that at some point, which is going to come back now that I've been able to progress to where I was. But I don't know when. Same with We Happy Few. I want to finish off that game. I know there's, I beat off one campaign. There's two more campaigns left to go one with a female and one with a Scottish guy. I think he's Scottish. So that's going to come back again. Um, so, and games that's like I've done achievement videos on, like Alice Madness Returns. Obviously, Alice is not going to return. Alice is done. Alice Madness will not return on the channel. But, like, say, for example, the Kingdom Hearts games. I'm going to redo them when they come out for the Xbox versions, just because I want to try and go for the achievement hunting series of the game. It's like, basically, we've done Kingdom Hearts 1, and then I want to continue doing Kingdom Hearts 1 100%. Like, go through the entire list. Not like the story order as I've been doing it. I want to go through the entire game as the game gives it me. Because all of them are going to come out for the Xbox One this year, as they have said. Probably around November time. But when that not when it comes out exactly, but after I've done with my Kingdom Hearts 3. Because going through Kingdom Hearts 2 at the moment, which that's probably going to take us until about May to finish. Because it's a long-ass game. And after we've got Coded, which is going to take... Again, I'm going to reduce that back down to an hour because it's, um, it's a PC one, which is I can't hack playing on a PC for two hours straight because it's really tiring on my arm and my back. It feels strange because I can relax more when I'm on a controller than when I'm on a keyboard. But once I've done coded, we can move on to happier things then because I've got the PS3 stuff to do. So all the recording is going to be on PS3 for now, but then stuff like that too. Also, about the Resident Evil series, when we do Resident Evil 3, which I believe is the next daily series, we're going to move on to Resident Evil 6 for the for Xbox One, getting all the achievements in that. Not all the achievements, but playing for the campaign of all four campaigns in that game. And then whenever comes after that, we're going to do Resident Evil 7. Now, the gimmick was I was supposed to do all these on the Xbox, which is good and all, but with how it's been going, 
I don't know why I'm not doing this. Like, I've been just talking here when I should be doing this as well, because I can actually multitask in this fucking game while looking for fucking numbers. Which I can actually do. <laughs> which is great. But, um... I'll miss out of five. Fuck. Boop. There we go. Right, let's move over here now. <clears throat> Oops. But yeah, some new things... That's just like, the fuck with that? Um, again, I might go revisit the... Um... Project Zero games again. Just because I want to try and do them on Nightmare and get a little bit more spook out of it. But again, at the same time, I might not do. I do have an idea for um, Project Zero 4, which is it's going to be unmonetized at all times. Like, I know we can't get monetization at the moment, but like when it comes to, oh, you can monetize all your videos now. I'm like, ah, great, I can monetize all the ones I can monetize. But that one's going to remain unmonetized considering I'm not going to be playing the game. I'm going to be watching someone play the game and hopefully I'll see how the first few actions go because I'm going to shove some earphones in and just do a reaction. I hate reactions anyway, which it feels like I feel like a hypocrite for doing it because it's like I hate this game. I mean, I hate how people do it. Like, it's understandable that people like to watch it and stuff, but again... See, I feel like how people do it, though, what pisses me off the most is when, oh, you're just get making money off of other people's content, which is, I don't like it. I don't like how you just use that, like using someone else's material that they've created and you're making yourself money off it just by going, ha, 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 and fucking faking your reactions, which I'm not going to fake my reactions. I don't, I don't think I could do that. I'm not that good of an actor. Voice acting, yes. <laughs> I'm great at that. But normal acting, no. I'm not that great. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about today. 100 subscribers is under the belt now. I will see you again. Usually I do these every 10, but now we're on 100. I'll see you again at 125, 150, 175, and then 200. Then from 200, it's going to be up to like up to 1,000. And then whenever we make it to every 500 and stuff like that, up until whenever, which is going to be good. But anyways, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who has helped out. Everyone who's who's been, you know, writing things in the comments. There's only been a few of you, but I do recommend it. If you have anything that you want to want me to play, I can play anything. I've got a good I've got a good PC now. I've got a PS4. I've got an Xbox. I've got a Nintendo Switch. If there's anything you want me to play, I will look into playing the game and see how it goes. Even if it's like, oh, I want you to play this game. It's like, all right, then fair enough. I'll buy it. I'll play it for whatever and see how it goes from there. Because I'm not a queer. I don't, well... I have quitted games before in the past, but not a lot, as of course. But anyway, that's all I want to talk about today for the 100 subscriber little special thing. I choose this, like, fucking number colouring thing just because it was, like, something I could have done, you know? It helps. Whoops. Fuck that one up. It was just something that could, like, just help me go along in the world. Or because usually when I like do these kind of challenging things, I can't focus and play a game at the same time. I'm missing a number one. Where are you? But this see this one doesn't require attention or focus. It is something I could just do without having much problems of focusing or playing the game, which is. Quite nice. Makes a change. Makes a massive change. I have no idea where this number one is. But, oh, but anyway, thanks for sticking around. I hope you, hopefully, you pass on the message to your friends and we'll try and get a community going. So I want to, I want to get a community going. Like, I might not even, I might just do YouTube for free at some point. Just keep on doing it until something happens. I don't know. But, new goal. 150 in a, by my sixth anniversary. That might be calling it quits. Instead of doing at the end of Hyrule Warriors. Depending which one comes first, of course. It depends. Like, if it's been, like, year six of my sixth year of YouTube and Hyrule Warriors is not done, I'll wait till Hyrule Warriors is done. If Hyrule Warriors is done and that's before all that stuff, then I'll probably prolong it until the end. There you are, you bitch. And stuff like that. But until till then, hope you have a good life. Have a good time. Hopefully we talk in the comments if you are around. If not, then well, have a good life anyway. Give me some hate. I don't care. I can take it. I'm not a baby. <laughs> not like some people on YouTube, as we already know. We've quit YouTube from having too much hate. But yeah, hope you have a good one. And I'm going to piss off out of you. 
So it's like, going away. <laughs>